tonight's colander pour night. I wanted to do a colander pour with oranges and purples and just kind of some different color combinations. So that's what I'm gonna do. I always get a little bit nervous because this colander normally is magic for me. It's from Walmart, but I always get nervous when I do it, like, oh my gosh, what if it's not gonna come out? So I'm gonna be working on a circular 16 inch uh, canvas and let's see what happens. Okay, so I always get super nervous when I do it because I never know if it's gonna turn out or not or if I've kind of lost my mojo. I wanna be centered here. I'm just gonna start pouring right in the center. I hope none of this goes to mud. A lot of aqua coming out of there. You want your white to go around this rim. And then I'll just put the rest of the white right in there. And in here, it doesn't matter if all that gets squiggly in the middle because it's all just going to come out. Can you guys see the inside of that cup? Oh my gosh. Okay, I just felt like bright colors, so let's just hope and pray that they come out okay. So I'm gonna lift up very slowly and just let all my colors drip out. So I got a little bit from the lip I might try to, oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> Let me see if I can take you in. What, do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Okay, now I'm gonna tilt. Remind me to show you this thing afterwards as well. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt, I think, this way first because I'm I want to I don't know if I'm going to go off the edges yet. Oh my gosh, that purple and that orange together. Wow. So what I normally do with this is I take it to each side and then I bring it back. So I just keep working along that pattern until I get the whole thing done. And my colander is from Walmart. A lot of people ask me that. Ooh, that design's really cool, but I'm probably gonna lose that as it goes over the edge. Um, yeah, the colander is from Walmart. And my circular canvases are from Jerry's Artorama, but you can get them a ton of, oh my God, this is so cool in the middle. Oh my gosh, I should say. Wow, and these are perfect little candy circles. I haven't done, I forget every time that I don't do these for a while, I forget how freaking awesome they are. So I'm just moving the paint to each side and then back to the center. You guys probably can't see it all. And then I'm gonna go over as soon as I get this whole canvas covered. Just move that back a little bit, come down there. Wow, this is the prettiest color combination. That purple, that blue. Wow, it is just amazing. Okay, down here, get that side. This is like one of those things you really got to kind of take your time once you get to that edge. To really get it down, that balloon is really pretty as well. But this really only works with that I found in this design with the colander from Walmart. I hope you guys can see when I'm tilting. I keep bringing it back. Okay, and then on around. I'm trying to save some of the edges because I know that you guys like those. 
Well, that didn't go off down there. There we go. Now it came off. Am I making you guys dizzy? <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, I have one little lump of stuff right there. Y'all, oh, these colors are so cool. Okay. Off my sides. Back on around. Now I'm just getting the design that I like. So I move my paint back to the center, right? I spin and then I come on down this side. See how the paint's walking from all the way up there now? And it's gonna go down there, but I don't want this middle design to go off. Huh, I might be done because I kind of like it. It almost encases everything along this way and ends back in two little points right there. I may just leave this one alone. I may stretch this out right up here. I may just leave that alone. I kind of like it. It's almost like, like pseudo Clemson colors and I don't want those to go off. The only part that I'm okay with going off right now is this right down here. And don't worry, I'll stretch it back once that goes off. Okay, there we go. And see, as long as that point doesn't come off, you can stretch that back, get it right where you want it. There we go. Touch that side right there. All right. I'm gonna take you down and show you, it's super cool. So there's my balloon in the center. All of these little candy dots, look at that. All of these little candy dots around here, they remind me of little mints. Those came from, oh, I wanted to show you the, look in there. What? <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, sorry, I'm getting dizzy. Um, those came from those drippings through those holes, as did all the little starburst designs. And I love, that's my favorite corner right there. And then there's all those kaleidoscope effects. It really does look like looking through a kaleidoscope. But anywho, there you go. I'll show it to you. Dry on the wall. Okay, bye guys. All right, here it is. I've got you guys at the on my table because my lighting, um, this was kind of the best lighting. I'm using a new phone, so I'm gonna go in slow and you guys just bear with me while it auto focuses. I've gotta figure this new phone out. There we go. Look at all those designs. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at those, so cool. Okay, I'm gonna take you back out, let it refocus. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. I love this one. I love the orange peeking through in places and the purple and the blue with it and that balloon in the center. Really super cool. All the little candy designs. I didn't really see any faces in this one. I don't know, you guys can let me know if you saw them, but I didn't see too many in this one. But really more just super cool designs. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Happy painting.